In this video, we'll take a look at how to control multiple devices using groups. We'll also add an echo into a group, that way we can say, turn off the lights and it'll know which lights we're talking about. Or play some music and it'll know which echo speakers to play the music on. Hi, my name is Craig. This is part of my weekly Echo series. Check out the description. I'll put links in there to the Echoes if you want to learn more about them. Please use those links. They definitely help the channel out. This is Season 2, Episode 3 of my weekly Echo series. Here's a playlist from last year's series if you want to check it out. Also, I've changed the name of my device to Echo, so hopefully I don't trigger your device at home. Amazon is great about updating and adding new features to control smart devices. Now, Groups isn't a new feature, but it is a great feature to know about if you're not using it. Groups allow you to take multiple devices and put them into a group. That way you don't need to remember that that's called the small lamp, that's called the tall lamp, uh, this is the office LED and you don't need to keep track of all these new devices as they enter your house. So with groups, you put them all into one. The thing I like about using groups is you can add echoes into groups. And once a group has an echo tied to it, you can say things like, Echo, turn off lights. And it knows that lights okay. Thank you. It knows that when you ask to turn off lights, since it's part of my office group, it'll turn off just the lights in the office group. To turn the lights back on, Echo, turn on lights. Okay. And it turned on my two Philip Hue bulbs and a smart plug that has this LED light plugged into it. You can also do the same thing with playing music. Echo, play classical mm. music. Playing classical music from Apple Music. So it's playing here, but it also started playing over here on my show. Echo, stop. So let's look at how to set this up. The first thing you're going to need to do is grab your mobile device and we're going to open the app up. Go down to Devices. And here, if you're not familiar with this screen, it has a list of your devices up on top. You can also add devices by hitting the plus button in the upper right hand corner. You'll see add a device and it'll discover it. You can also see a list of your devices by clicking the all devices in the corner. It'll show you everything that you have installed there. What we're gonna do is create a group. Right now I have a bedroom group, a living room lights group, I also have my speaker groups, downstairs, everywhere, and the office group that you heard before. We're gonna go up in the upper right hand corner, hit plus, we're gonna add a group, give it a name, office, done, hit next. Here we can see our echoes. If we scroll down, we'll see all of our devices. For now, let's just pick out the lights that I want. So I have my office LED, we, I have my short lamp, my tall lamp, and that's all I want to control right now. So I'll hit save. And now I have a new group that's created called Office. If I want to turn off that group, I can say, Echo, turn Office off. Okay. Being patient for her to respond. Uh, now, you see everything turned off. Echo, turn office mm -hmm. on. Okay. So how do I turn off the lights without having to specify the group? Echo, turn off lights. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't find a device named lights. The way we do that is we go back into our group and you could have added this from the beginning, but I just wanted to show this as an example. Let's select our group that we made called office. Let's hit edit, and if we scroll through here, you'll see that your different Echo devices are listed here. My bedroom's not available because it's in another group. My living room is not available because it's also in another group. You're only able to add Echoes into one group so that it can tie it to the devices in that group. So in here, I'm gonna select my office dot and my office show, and I'll hit save. 
Now if I select that group, you'll see that the dot and the show are in there. I have my office LED switch, my short lamp, my tall lamp, and there's also a category here for preferred speakers. Preferred speakers is for when you're playing music. So if I hit plus, I can have it set up so that if I speak to one of my devices in this room, if it hears me and asks for music, it will either play music out of this Echo or it'll play it out of this show. Or one of the cooler options is you can pick one of your speaker groups. So I'll just pick the office speaker group. So now if I ask for music like I did earlier, it'll come out of both of these speakers. Or in the case of my living room, if I wanted it to play in the kitchen and in the living room, that could all be in the same group. I could use my downstairs group. It really gives you some options there. So let's save that. One of the coolest parts of using groups now is opened up to us. I can say, Echo, turn off the lights. And it knows which devices. Okay. Now, if I want to play music like I did before, Echo, play classical music. Playing classical music from Apple Music. Echo, turn down the music. Now we're accessing our group without having to actually specify play music on downstairs group. It knows that if you're requesting it from either of these devices in this room to play on this specified group. Echo, pause. Echo, turn the lights to 50%. Okay. And it brought those lights up to 50%. It didn't bring on my smart plug because that's not dimmable. Echo, turn on the lights. Okay. Now that lights up because it's considered a light. Echo, turn lights blue. Okay. Echo, turn lights to full. Okay. Echo, turn lights to white. Okay. Echo, turn lights to warm white. Okay. I still can grab things individually, such as Echo, turn tall lamp to cool white. Okay. Having this functionality and adding the echoes to a groups really simplifies things. I think it makes it a lot more useful for myself for my wife who's not into most of this tech, for people who don't wanna remember what everything is called, is it called this group? You just wanna be able to leave a room and say, Echo, turn off lights. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, you don't wanna to have to remember what this stuff's called. Echo, turn on lights. Okay. That's it. That's the benefit of adding your devices into a group. It used to be if you asked to turn off all lights, your whole house would shut off because it would just grab all the lights. But now by, with this, you're able to kind of customize rooms and just be able to walk from room to room and say, turn lights on, turn lights off, and the device will know what you're talking about. What do you think of this feature? Is this something you use or are going to use? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of the next video. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the Amazon links in the description. If you use them, Amazon will kick us back a little. I appreciate you watching this. Have a great day. Bye.